All right, everybody, we have some exciting news news uh, to share with you. You can use Automate as your task management system. You don't have to pay for Trello or uh, Jira or any other software that you might be using to manage your tasks with some additional benefits. And the additional benefits is the logic that you can have behind the task creation, the task assignments, and the notifications thereof as those tasks move through your agency uh, processes that you have, whether that be for new business, existing uh, customers, uh, servicing certificates or some, some other processes that you have. All of those can be associated with uh, tasks, notifications, and so on. And here's a quick overview of what that might look like in your agency. And obviously, this is a, an example of a, of a test agency of ours. But let's go ahead and demonstrate how that works. Let's And I have Demeter here with me. He'll be um, uh, creating a couple of opportunities for us so that we can see what that process looks like and what we can do. Let's go ahead and create a new opportunity. All right. So I'll just hit the plus. And here's a here's a, something that, that I just want to mention. We are not going to do that, but we can, if we wanted to choose an existing contact or in, in, existing insured in, in, in the agency case um, where we would be creating an opportunity for that contact or we would uh, create a brand new contact and create the opportunity, for, obviously, for that contact along the way. Let's go ahead and create a brand new contact uh, for the, uh, the purposes of testing everything out at once and, and showing and demonstrating the, the process that, the, that we're illustrating here. Okay, so, so I'll uh, go with Bob uh, Smith. Bob Smith is perfect. Yep, let's do that. And um, one thing that you would notice here in a moment is we have added some rules behind the scenes. And if, uh, depending on the words that you place within the opportunity name. Let's go ahead and uh, put the word uh, commercial auto here, for example, or just commercial or something of that nature, commercial auto. All right, perfect. So now, because it has the word commercial within the opportunity name, we have set it up to create a specific set of tasks. And we are going to demonstrate how that differs from, uh, uh, from personal auto to commercial auto, to certificates, and so on. So there are a few scenarios here that we will be uh, illustrating, demonstrating. Let's uh, let's go through it. We'll go ahead and assign it to to some uh, to one of the users within this agency. Perfect. And uh, you know what? That's uh, that's efficient for right now. Let's okay. just uh, let's great. give it an opportunity value. Let's do an opportunity value. Ah, it's okay. Uh, we can do it for the next one. We we'll do it for the next one. Yeah, and, and now that we have done the commercial auto, what we are expecting to see within the tasks should be a set, here we go, they have been created. And what, what does this mean? So call the customer within 10 minutes. Let's say that is a task that you want to assign to someone. Um, and then the next one over, uh, the next task over would be complete application form for commercial quote. So perhaps the CSR is supposed to take the down the vehicle information or the, the, the driver information, whatever the case might be. Those are tasks. Notifications can also follow. Notifications to the customer, notifications to the CSR, notification to the agency owner, to the agent, whomever that is. Let's assume we have completed these two tasks. Let's mark them as done, please. All right, let's so, let's do that. So perfect. That's that's enough. Let's close this, and let's go ahead and move uh, Bob Smith over to in progress. You have a different stage in your task management or in your process, and let's take a look at what happens to Bob Smith now. Let's open it up again. Let's go to the tasks. Wow, now we have two actually different tasks that are due for us. Once again, the other two are completed. The, the opportunity was moved over or the uh, the task was moved over. And now we have additional tasks that need to be uh, completed. We need to submit to underwriter. And we obviously might need to be uh, uh, following up with the underwriter. That is dependent on, on your uh, markets, dependent on your um, line of business 
and uh, many other circumstances. But we're assuming these are the tasks that you that you want created here. Let's go ahead and mark these as done as well. So we have completed these or the underwriter or the, the CSR has completed them. And let's move uh, Bob Smith over to communicate. All right, now we should be actually seeing some different types of tasks here. So we have those tasks that have been completed, but we have two more tasks now because the opportunity was moved over. And that is creating the proposal and presenting it to the customer. By the way, when, when we're talking about creating a proposal, stay tuned for our next video because we will be showing you our proposal software. It is, it is next level, seriously. It is uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, you, we'll be discussing the proposals very, very, very soon on the next, uh, on the next video. All right, so this is how, how the tasks are created if you have a commercial, uh, commercial opportunity. But let's go ahead and, and change that. And what if it, was, if it wasn't commercial? What if it was personal? What if it is a, um, uh, uh, Jenny um, Smith? And, uh, uh, and, and Jenny Smith is, is a new contact. And what if it wasn't uh, commercial? What if it is personal? Then maybe it should be assigned to a different CSR. Maybe it should be uh, assigned to a different agent. And let's give it a little bit of a value here, opportunity value right there. Let's go with uh, 500 or something like that. All right, so now that we have this and and it's uh, the, the, the owner would be somebody else, let's go ahead and create this and see what happens. All right, well, we have a different set of tasks. So now we have one task that was created, complete application form for personal quote. Perfect. Let's mark that as done. All right, let's mm -hmm. close this and move it over, move the opportunity over, uh, move uh, uh, Jenny over to in progress. And now that we have moved Jenny to in progress, let's take a look. Well, now we have, uh, different task that has been created. Call the customer within 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and mark that as done. You get the point. Now that we have created uh, the opportunity and because it contains the word personal, different sets of tasks are being created for, for, for this opportunity. But let's do one last little bit of demonstration here. What if we wanted to create a special customer maybe this would be uh trucking LOC or ronald uh, whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter ronald smith let's go with that and in this particular case what we will be demonstrating here is what if this is a very uh, the csr is taking the information down someone has called in taking the information down and you know it, it, it ends up being someone with the, that would be a large account um, has multiple properties or multiple vehicles that need to be uh, insured or perhaps different businesses. And the value of that opportunity, whether that be a renewal opportunity or a new business is let's say $17,000, just to give it an example. Now, because of such a high value of that opportunity, and these are rules that you can set for your own agency the way you want it to be, and you can assign it to someone if you want, uh, Mitko. Let's say because of the, the high value, then let's go ahead and create this and see what happens. Because of that high value, I believe, all right, now that we have the rule set up for certain value above the um the threshold for an agency specific uh, uh, processes well maybe we want different totally different tasks to be created because of the high value the agency owner should be informed and maybe it should be assigned to a specific agent maybe to a specific csr maybe it should be assigned to the owner of the agency maybe the, the owner should be calling the the customer because of 
the owner's experience and 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 so on wants to handle these high value customers uh, himself or herself and that is uh, uh, that is once again within the rules of of the task management uh, that you would set up and one last one it's not only about current customers what if we create another opportunity here uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, Mitko let's say we have this scenario where a certificate has been requested and, and let's say it's a uh, trucking company one two three that has created has asked for this and uh, and in this particular case we we would be obviously marking this as a certificate and it's just by placing the word certificate within the opportunity name that's all that we have to do really is uh, is uh, place that add that word or we can we can do it in different ways by the way but let's say for example that's what we want then we would be expecting that different tasks are created for this so here we go, verify certificate holder name and address. Let's say we mark this one as done. CSR has completed this task and is moving the opportunity over to in progress. So now that it is in progress, well, what do we expect? We expect different tasks, right? Here we go, log into now search and send the certificate. Let's say we have completed this. All right, and then the last one. Well, now what we should be checking here probably is something else let's see what we've got here well inform the customer the certificate has been sent now you can also uh, combine so once again i'm going back to what i mentioned earlier in the video at the beginning is that not only the tasks can automatically be created well you can be creating them uh, one by one if you wanted to as as you can see there is an add new add task button but the various notifications can follow for example this last task inform the customer that the certificate has been sent well you can make it so that as soon as this opportunity is moved to the appropriate stage so this task has been uh, moved to the appropriate stage that an email or an sms goes automatically out to the customer letting them know the certificate has been sent. So you have completed this assignment for the customer. So not only that you have communicated from the very beginning with the customer, verifying the address and what know about the certificate holder, the address and the name, but at the end you have followed up with a confirmation that you have completed their request. That can be automated as well or maybe you want to do it by uh, manually, maybe you want to inform the customer by uh, having one of your staff members call them and letting them know. That is totally up to the agency operations and, and uh, how you want to handle things. And once again, in, it can also depend on many other variations. If a customer that is of uh, that has been with you for a while but is of low value, meaning the 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 combined value of our policies that that customer holds is less than certain amount of money, maybe most of your processes should be automated with automated emails and SMSs. However, if it is a customer of high importance, well, maybe the agency would like to have the CSR call or the agent call directly and let them know the certificate has been completed. All of those are optional and depending on how you uh, you would like to operate within your agency. Once again, not only a task management, but quite a bit of automation behind it, rules and uh, triggers that can send automatic emails and SMSs, uh, dropping voicemails and whatnot. So that is what we wanted to show you today. Hopefully you stay tuned with uh, with us for the next video, which will be about proposals. That's enough for today. Thank you very much for listening to me. And if you have any questions or comments, share them in the video down below. All right. Thank you very much, everybody.